We're now going to do a few applications that use polynomial equations. We create them. The first example given is, suppose I tell you the length of a rectangular sign is 3 feet longer than its width. If the area of the sign is 54 square feet, find the dimensions of the sign. So the first thing is I'm going to put in the rectangle, because I know I have a rectangular sign. Reading the problem, we see that the length is 3 feet longer, and this is key, longer than its width. The width is what we're going to set equal to x. Whatever usually follows the word than is a good choice for x. And the fact that the length is 3 feet longer means it's x plus 3. The problem is telling us that the area of the sign is 54 square feet. So we're talking about area. So we're talking about this area. We know that area is just length times width. And that, we know, is 54. So we can see the length is x plus 3, the width is x. That's going to give us our polynomial equation. x times x plus 3 equals 54. Then we'll be able to solve for x using the techniques of the zero product theorem. We don't have a 0 yet, so the key is to get rid of the parentheses, distribute the x, x squared plus 3x equals 54. And in order to use the technique that we want, we have to get a 0 on one side. I want a 0 on one side, so I'm going to subtract the 54, and I'll get x squared plus 3x minus 54 equals 0. Now, one thing that's helpful, the minute you have 0, you can automatically, to clue in, put the two parentheses. That's going to remind you that you need to factor. For the factors of this, to get a negative 54, I needed a positive times a negative, but the middle term is positive, so the larger of the two absolute values is positive. So I'm going to use 9 and negative 6. The factors will be x plus 9 and x minus 6. Now I set each one equal to 0. x plus 9 is 0, or x minus 6 is 0. Working this here, we subtract 9, we get x is negative 9. Here we add 6, we get x is 6. However, you can't have a negative length. x now represents the width of this side so we can't have a negative. I have to find the dimensions. Here I see that this value was 6, and 6 plus 3 makes this value 9. So for my solution, I say the width is 6 feet, the length is 9 feet. And I've just come up with the appropriate solution. We'll go on to another application. Next application, I have a rectangular flower bed that measures 20 feet by 30 feet. To finish the project, I'm going to put a uniform border of pine bark around the outside of the flower bed. I'm going to draw a sketch so we can see. So I have this flower bed. This isn't a scale, but it's 20 feet by I mean tw 30 feet here and 20 feet here. Around this, I'm putting a border that's uniform, which means it's the same width all around. So I'm going to put a border that's the same width all around. Here's what my border looks like. And it's uniform, which means I don't know how many feet this is, but this x is the same as this x is the same as this x is the same as this x. So that border all around is the same number of feet, so that's x. We have enough pine bark to cover 336 square feet. The pine bark is between the green and the blue, so it's this whole area, this yellow shaded area. We need to find the area of that yellow shaded region 
from the problem. Looking at this, we can see that the area we want is we want the area of the green rectangle, this whole green rectangle, minus the area of the blue rectangular flower bed of the blue area. So we want this entire green rectangle's area, and then we subtract from that the area of the blue. To get the green rectangle's area, I have to know what this width is and what the expression for this length is. This width was 20 blue, but then I added x above and x below, so it is 20 plus 2x. The length will be this length, 30, plus you're putting x and x there, so it's 30 plus 2x. We now have the length and width of the green rectangle, and we have the length and width of the blue rectangle. We're now ready to set up the equation. I'm going to go to the next page to do that. For this one, the area of the green rectangle is just this length, 30 plus 2x, times the width, which is 20 plus 2x. Now I look and I see that the area of the blue rectangle is just 30 times 20. I'm now ready to get the area, that yellow shaded area, by subtracting those two. And according to my problem, if you look here, that area, that yellow shaded area, will be 336 square feet. What we recall is that the area of the green rectangle minus the area of the blue rectangle is the area of the border, which is 336, which we had up here. Our equation now that we're going to have to solve is 30 plus 2x times 20 plus 2x minus 30 times 20 equals 336. This is what we have to now solve for x. In this problem, we don't have a 0 on one side, so we can't solve it till we get that. But first, I'm going to FOIL here to get rid of the parentheses. Doing that, I get 30 times 20, which is 600, plus 2x times 20, 40x, plus 2x times 30, 40x and 60x is 100x, plus 4x squared, because of the 2x, minus 30 times 20 is 600, equals 336. We're now going to combine like terms before we're going to do anything else, and that gives us 4x squared plus 100x equals 336. But we have to get 0 on one side, so I'm going to subtract 336, and I get 4x squared plus 100x minus 336 is 0. I am now ready to factor. However, there's something that's going to make this easier. I could factor out at first the greatest common factor, which is 4, but when it's a number and it's an equation, I can just divide all sides by that 4. That gives me x squared plus 25x minus 4 into 33, 8, carry a 1, 4 into 16, 4, equals 0. We're now ready to factor and get our solutions using the zero product theorem. If we don't see right away until we get ones, that will add up to positive 25x. Well, positive 25. So because it's negative and the middle is positive, it's positive times a negative, and the larger of the two absolute values will be positive. So we have negative 1 and 84. Negative 2 goes into that 42. They don't add up. But negative 3 goes into that 28. And sure enough, 28 and negative 3 is 25. So we have x minus 3 
x plus 28. We now set each one x minus 3 is 0, or x plus 28 is 0. In this one, x is 3, this is negative 28. And since x was the border around the flower bed, it can't be negative. So our answer is that border is 3 feet all around.